Hi guys, Brian Lebel from Lebel Guide Service. Uh, today what I'm going to show you is how to make a high pound test fluorocarbon leader without using crimps. Uh, today I'm actually running 100 pound test fluorocarbon. Um, I have a ball bearing swivel and a fast snap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ball bearing swivel I'm going to put it on my line, just like this. Give myself quite a bit of tag end. I'm going to take and I'm going to fold it just like that. Make a bite on the line. I'm going to pinch with my thumb and forefinger on the line. And I'm going to take the running end, so the tag end, and I'm going to wrap it around my finger. One, two, three four times and I'm pinching that line with my with my thumb to hold it in place. So I have this little spool here. I'm going to take that spool and I'm going to rotate it off my finger. I'm going to take the tag end and I'm going to stick it through the spool just like this. And then I'm going to take these little wraps and I'm going to pull them off of the spool. Uh, sometimes you got to play with this a little bit to, to get it to look right, and in this case I do. So what you're going to end up getting is you're going to get something that looks like this. This is what's going to make your knot. So I'm going to wet it, and then I'm going to pull it all together. Sometimes you use your teeth just like that. So I get a knot that looks like this. And then I'm going to take that knot and I'm going to slide it towards my ball bearing swivel. Tighten it up a little bit more. It's a very tight knot. Now if you try to tie 100 pound test, 80 pound test, anything really, anything over 50 pound fluorocarbon with a traditional knot, it's just not going to work. The only other knot that I know of that actually works like this is called a canoe knot. I don't know the name of this knot. The particular one I tied, um, I didn't invent it, uh, but I just happened to learn it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to um, I'm going to cut the tag end off, and the great thing about this knot is you can cut it as close to the knot as 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 you want. There we go. So now I have that knot, and just for the sake of showing you again, in case you didn't catch it the first time this line off the spool and I'm going to attach my fast snap. So I'm going to take my fast snap, I'm going to put it through, give myself quite a bit of tag end here. So I got, you know, I probably got six, between six and eight inches of tag. I'm going to make my bite on the line, make sure I get my fast snap going the right way there pinch it with my thumb and forefinger. I like to have my running end on the bottom. And then I'm going to wrap it once. And I tend to pinch it on this side as I'm going around with my with my middle finger. And then wrap it again. And then I'm also pinching it with my, uh, th my thumb. Two, three, and four times. So I have this all pinched on my finger. Then I'm going to take the spool that I've made with my index finger and I'm going to roll that off. I'm going to take the tag end and I'm going to put it through that spool. So I've got it just like this. And then I'm going to roll these wraps off of that spool. And then the way you want it kind of set up is sometimes you got to play with it a little bit. Um, you want it to set up so it'll set up the knot the knot real nice just like just like that you can see that right there it looks like a little bow tie and then I'm gonna wet the line and tighten everything up sometimes we gotta use the teeth ah, there we go all right so now I have this then I just take and slide the knot down to my fast snap and then I'm gonna 
that's pretty tight so and then I'm gonna cut as close to the knot as I can perfect now I've got about a 10 inch fluorocarbon leader super strong knots um, Again, the only other knot that I know of out there that, that, that works like this knot's the canoe knot. Um, nothing against the canoe knot. I've tried trying tying it before, but there's only so much room up in a brain pan to, to keep knots up there. So um, this is the one I happen to use. And um, again, using ball bearing swivels and fast snaps here. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them up in the comments below. And um, I'm Brian Liebelt from Liebelt Guide Service. And 